Hey, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're hopping right back into the whole situation that Danielle Brigoli brought forth the other week where she accused Turnabout Ranch for various things, and that's the ranch that Dr. Phil sent her to. I'll link my previous video in the description of this video, but in short, in my last video, I covered how Danielle Brigoli went onto Instagram Live and divulged all the appalling details that happened to her at Turnabout Ranch, which of course is the infamous ranch that Dr. Phil sends troubled teens to. But now in recent news, she uploaded a YouTube video titled Bad Baby, Breaking Code Silence, Turn Em Out Ranch, Dr. Phil, Danielle Brigoli. Before we watch this video, I wanna make it clear that these are all allegations from her and her experience there. So with that, let's see what she has to say. I was 13 years old when I went to Turn About Ranch. I feel like it's very important for me to speak on this because I kept my mouth shut for so long. I did touch on it a couple of times in different situations, but I really wanna get my whole story out there and let everything just be out because that's the thing with these places is you have no evidence. You don't have a phone there. They don't have cameras there. Like there's no evidence of none of this. And obviously all the staff is in on it. So they're not gonna snitch on each other. So from what it sounds like, it's essentially an outdoor prison for minors in a remote location. But as she said, there's no cameras, so it's hard to prove what she's saying. So it'll be interesting to see how many witnesses come forward. All you really have is the kids that are there. So a young lady, her name is Hannah, she recently um, spoke out because while she was there, she was uh, and then when she reported that she was assaulted, uh, she was punished by staff. Now, when I seen the punishment she was given, I knew like, okay, I, yeah, I really have to say something. Like I really have to have her back on this because I, I truly believe that they did that. So Dr. Phil, I'm going to give you from now till April 5th to issue an apology, not only to me, but to Hannah and any other child that you sent to Turnabout or any other program like this. And if you don't, I'm gonna handle things my way. Oh, she's directly calling out Dr. Phil now. Okay. I don't know if threatening him is the right move, but it, it will be interesting to see what in my own ways means. I'm completely on board with threatening Dr. Phil. <laughs> just for the record. Okay. <laughs> but this got serious real quick. I mean, the allegations towards Turnabout Ranch are horrific, but I'm at least glad to see that Bad Baby's using her infamous attitude for the better, calling out people like this, rather than her antics that she's normally been using it for. Because right now she's using it to call out straight up alleged monsters. And if Dr. Phil is sending kids to this place, he's a part of the problem. Part of the whole Dr. Phil show is they send these kids to either Turnabout or these other programs that are also in Utah, but they're all wilderness programs and they're all f***ed up. Again, I'm honestly glad that she's coming out and saying some of this stuff. Like if these facilities are actually ran as bad as she's saying they're ran, they shouldn't be allowed to stay open. Like at the very least, they need to have some sort of video surveillance so a third party can look at what's going on and deem if it's inappropriate or not. Okay, so Turnabout is in the middle of Escalante, Utah. It's a very, 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 very small town. It's got one gas station, one, one grocery store. Everybody knows everybody there. You see you're in the middle of nowhere. You know there's nowhere to run. If you try to run out there, you're either, they're gonna find you, you're gonna get in more trouble, or you're, if you do get away, you're gonna get eaten by a coyote or something. Cause mm -hmm. took in there against my will. They give you transporters. Um, transporters are two people, a male and a female that come in in the middle of the night. They don't tell them where they're going. They just take them, they handcuff them, they put them in the car. It's basically like kidnapping. Wait, 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 wait. What in the Jebediah hell is going on there? Really? This isn't a prison, right? So she was 13 years old when she was sent here and she was dragged out in the middle of the night and handcuffed at 13 years old, not knowing where she's going with two strangers driving the car. Yeah, that's totally not creepy at all. I said this was like prison earlier, but now it's sounding a lot more like prison. Like what is this, tent city for minors? I won't lie, I feel like if when I was a teenager, my parents sent me to one of these places, like I got home, put down my bags and there's just random people there and they handcuff me and take me away in the night. <laughs> I think I would spend the entire time plotting on my parents' downfall. I'd be writing in my notes, like I would never let that go. I'd be so mad. Yeah, that does not sound like a good way to rehabilitate your child whatsoever. I just cannot imagine how people would think this is a good idea to do. Traumatizing your child won't fix past trauma. That would just push them to a breaking point, which we kind of covered in the previous video where you had that whole situation. I got there, I got out of the car and I just seen it was like, it looked like nothing. It was just super dark. I seen like all the circles and stuff and I seen the little cabin and I was like, oh, I'm not built for this. Like I'm just a little bougie. 
So for the first three days you're there is no showering. They put you in a circle, which is a big, it's a TP. It's a little TP, but it's open, and you have to sit there for three days. They wouldn't let me lay down for nothing. Like I was falling asleep, and they were like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, get up, get up." So I'm just sitting here, like. This is going to be really bad. Dr. Phil really sent her to stay where Courage the Cowardly Dog was based. And don't even get me started on the whole sleep deprivation tactic. Y you need sleep. Seriously, forced sleep deprivation, that can't be a good lesson for self-control whatsoever. That's awful that they did that to her and probably many other kids too. Like three days straight? Unless she's exaggerating, that's awful. When I seen these people have no sympathy, I was like, oh, I'm really, like, I'm really doomed. They strip you from your whole personality. You have to act like just whoever they want you to act like. They told me, okay, these are what your chores are gonna be. I don't remember what they were, but they were like, these are what your chores are gonna be. This is what you're gonna be doing. Here's your level one binder. You do the same thing every day. Chop wood, take care of the animals. This place is all about taking away privileges. Like, okay, yeah, the phone is a privilege, TV, like all that. But they take away like necessity privileges, like sleeping on a bed, eating good food, not being cold. Uh, hello, 911. This sounds like an Amish boot camp from hell. I remember the first time I got in trouble. Now, I, this is my first time being here. Like, I don't really, like, yeah, y'all explained to me the rules, but I'm 13. Like, I don't really know, like, exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. There's been times where I uh, I reported um, another student acting inappropriate or um, just anything like that. Didn't even have to do with me, and I would get in trouble for just witnessing it. If so you reported a ch another kid, like, getting bullied by like their peers or something, they would just say, well, maybe that's what they need or like something like that. Nobody. Turnabout Ranch. We need to bring back bullying. Thank you, Turnabout Ranch. Even though there was written rules, if if a staff was angry at the moment or if you just did something that they felt was bad, you they, you would get your own punishment. Like they would make up their own punishment for you. It's really frustrating because even if you don't know the rules, if you up, you're still in trouble. It's, there's not no I didn't know. You're still you're still in deep. From what she's saying, it seems like the staff is sadistic as hell. Like who would want to send their child here? Isn't the job of being a parent to protect your children? I don't think you're doing that job very well if you're sending your kids here. That's minor, is major to them. So if you do something like the tiniest, tiniest thing, you get a check. If not, you have to be on reflection. Reflection is punishment. When you do something so bad, or if you do anything that ticks them off, you have to go on reflection. If you walk in the arena for hours on end, you sit outside in the cold, on the, on the floor, you have to pick up piles in a wheelbarrow of horse and they want big piles. So if you have to do 25 piles, you're really doing like 50 wheelbarrows. So I think what they decided to call reflection is actually called child labor in the real world. So while I was there, just a lot of crazy things happened. I seen a kid get held down for trying to leave. Just honestly, I don't think he was trying to run away. I think he was just trying to like walk out the door and just like get some time to himself and they restrained him, they held him down. They, they had no problem holding kids down, which is against the law. You're not supposed to touch the kids, but they had no problem doing that. It's just our word against the staff's word when you're there because there's no witnesses, there's no cameras, you don't have a phone, there's none of that. That's why I was always so scared to speak out because it's like, no one's gonna believe me. A lot of things that like happened to me there, I was, it, it hurt me so bad because I was genuinely like confused. I'm writing letters to my mom like, mom, I will do anything. Like, you don't understand what this place is like. Like, you can't do this to me. Like, I will do anything. I'll do therapy every day. Like, I will go through an uh, out, uh, outpatient program, all that. Like, just please let me come home. This place has to be be under investigation after this. I would definitely say that these allegations are grounds for that. One of the kids, he had tried to steal a car or something. Everyone was screaming on the walkies like it was really crazy. And he ended up killing one of the staff members. They made all the kids that were at Rowdy come down. And then they didn't, they told us not to tell us anything. A day later, they have us all, all every kid that's at Turnabout, they have us all in a circle and they're like, listen, there was an incident. I know some of y'all heard it over the walkies, Jimmy. And so we're all freaking out. Cause Jimmy was, like I said, he was one of them that was there the first day I got there. He was really sweet. Not only did Jimmy, but one of the other staff members that was there at the time, Alicia, who was the daughter of the nurse, Alicia, she was um, also injured. And two years later, she died. And she was also left disabled after being attacked by Clay. So the mother of um, the kid Clay who killed the staff, she was married to the brother of the president of the program which I also believe is a conflict of interest. I don't know why they would do that. Anymore. So it was really sad. Like they wouldn't tell us what happened and all that. And any of the kids that were there, like they couldn't talk about it, but they were like really traumatized by it. Even the ones that weren't there were traumatized by it. Like I heard it over the walkie, like that's scary. Like, like I'm just sad these kids had to go through this. I mean, they went there against their will to be fixed and they just ended up with more trauma. 
my mom had always threatened me as like, oh, I'm sending you away, I'm sending you away. But she never did it. This was the first time she really did it. Like, I, I never thought my mom would do this. So what parents need to understand is if your child is acting out because of trauma, like, or maybe like the kid's parents got divorced or just anything like that, you don't send your kid to a program like this. You need to send your kid to a program where they're not being punished and, and it's not about, everything's not about you're in trouble, you're in trouble. And it's just, it's just really up. You're, you're just using children to keep your ranch going and you're not even feeding them or letting them sleep in decent condition. Just doing things that no one would ever want done to their child. To any parents with a troubled child, if you were even considering something like this, I, I really hope you see this video and reconsider. So I don't, I'm not really sure why Dr. Phil still sends kids here. It just, it really doesn't make sense. Like, are you trying to help them or are you trying to hurt them even more? Cause I mean, we all know he's a phony as it is, but like, don't be sending kids somewhere just to make make it look like you're trying to do something. Oh snap, okay, she pulled the Uno reverse card four years later on Dr. Phil. Now Dr. Phil's in the hot seat. There was already lawsuits before I went there. There's now many more after, but there was one as far back as 2012. Now this place has been going since the 90s, I think. So I could just imagine like how much bad stuff has happened there. These are documented things that have happened and just the 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 malnourishing, physical abuse, mental abuse, all that, and this place is still up and running. It just doesn't make sense. Well, that concludes our video. I'm glad she spoke out about this. It's a very brave thing to do, and I'll be interested to see how this whole situation pans out. I'm really wondering how Dr. Phil will respond if he even does, and I'm also wondering what her taking this in her own hands means. But hey, what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Dr. Phil will actually respond to this, or do you think he'll evade everything? And if you want to see something very cute, here's Gary. Oh yeah, Gary also has a YouTube channel. I'll link one of his videos on the end of this video. Please let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Baby, I'm crazy. You know I get so jaded. My mama told me I made it. But I'm still not up on no playlist. And I still hit up on my haters. Everybody else is so faithless. Saying if you hate it, don't play it. But maybe I'm the one that needs changing. But I don't really want change, no. Think I get to where I want to go.